So Bandai has released some new interesting cards coming up in May. And there's some powerful cards in Dragon Ball Fusion. I, I didn't realize how power creep this game was. But that's not a bad thing. What's going on, y'all? Evan U7 here, back with another video. And today, we're going to be going over some of the new cards that Bandai have revealed in Blazing Aura. Before we start, be sure to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Because we're on the road to 2K. All right. Let's get to it. All right. First, we have Sun Goku. When attacking, you draw one card. Awaken. When your life is at three or less, you draw one card and flip this card over. On the Awaken side, when attacking, you draw one card. Activate main once per turn. Discard one card from your hand. Play up to one battle card with 20,000 power or less. And uh, tournament of power and a special traits from your hand. Okay, let's just be clear. This leader is going to be really good. It's probably going to be meta. The fact that you could play a 20k uh, power, uh, a power card just from your hand. And it doesn't even have summoning signal. You can just play it. Is broken. That means that this leader here is the aggro you and the stack up board with 20k's. So you can literally, and that's a lot of 20k's from set one. This card is going to be meta. All right, next card. We do have the two drop Android 18. It's a permanent. On your opponent's turn, this card gains plus 5k power. So this is, I guess, a way of them sneaking in. This is one of the cards you would use. From the next set uh, i know that in blazing uh, aura they're they're adding cards with heavy hits and more abilities in the first set um of fusion world awaken pulse android 17 is also a reference to this card the fact that it gains plus 5k and is also uh, you take up to one life and it's a um, tap three energy um battle card so it's really cool to see that android 18 had the exact same thing Next, we have T and Shihan. All right, this, this is really good. On play, play up to three T on uh, T and Shin cards with 15k power or less from your hand. So what you do is you just activate the Sun Goku leader, discard one, tap one, play this T in, and then T in plays three other T ins, and then you just go in. So you basically will use the one drop T ins from Awake and Pulse and aggro your opponent, Br bro. What? All right, yeah, this is this is a, a must. Uh, you must run four of these at all costs. <laughs> so we do have Rosie from Universe Two. This card gets plus five k power for the turn with each of your opponent's battle cards. So for each battle card in field, you add pressure to it, and it makes me think we will have a Universe Two deck. Now you don't really have to have one, but this is a nice tech for red players out there who enjoy playing red, who also enjoy playing aggro. Uh, it makes you wonder if we will have a Universe 2 deck. But you can see, Tournament of Power is a very popular series, and this is what they're starting off with. So that you could best believe that we're going to have more cards with Universe 2 in the, in the future. Next, we have 3-drop yellow Sun Goku card with 25k power. Permanent, your turn. If your opponent has three or more Rest Mode battle cards, this card gets plus 5k power. And I, I I can assume that this is for the new yellow Vegeta leader that's coming out, and also for the new yellow uh with the current yellow star deck Frieza that you can run this card in, because it is a 25k, and the fact that you can get plus 5k power and making it a 30k is hard for you to out combo because in this game comboing is a little bit more defensive than an offensive than a Dragon Ball Super card game masters. So I'm definitely looking forward to this card. It's an uncommon card, but still, you get this foil, you're gonna feel good about yourself. And you do have the yellow leader Vegeta. You draw one card. When your life is at four or less, draw one card, then flip this card over. On his awakening side, when attacking, you draw one card, and at the end of your turn, switch up to two of your red smoke energy to active mode. This is actually really good for yellow leader. It's a, it's a reference from the uh, golden freezer from Dragon Ball Super Card Game Masters to a degree with untapping energy, uh, two energy to be exact. So what they want you to do is, it seems like they want, uh, with Bandai making this particular card, they want you to uh, play your heavy beaters, have two extra energy, and of course, whatever extra cards they have in your hand, that'll probably be like their backup. Because we don't have counters in Fusion World, but they do have activate battle with card game plus 15k or plus 20k. So I'm excited to see that. I, this is crazy. 
What are your thoughts of the new cards coming out? I know that the starter decks that came out recently from Awakened Pulse or in set one, the Fusion World, has been topping. You have Green Brawly, you have Blue Vegeta, Ray Goku, um, Yellow Frieza. People have been making their own spice. I know Japan been making their own decks, but I am confident and sure that these new lead, this new leader that's coming out, the new race on Goku and the Vegeta, of course, is going to really set the bar and probably be the top meta decks next set. Um, I can't see nothing else happening with the set one cards right now, but I will tell you that with Blazing Aura, um, there's going to be a lot of new spices. Um, technically, the leader will be a free play, so you get to play more battle cards. Like I said, they only focus on battle cards and the leader. I I'm excited to see this, but what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Evan U7. Have a great day, and remember the Lord loves you. Bye. Oh, oh. And this bitch going crazy